Agora TV. The world is thinking. I, I, was, I was talking to, to one of the guys from T Row the other day, and, and he goes, he runs a technology fund, and he goes, I only invest in things I see on Star Trek. I see. Right? So uh, that's a good philosophy, I think. Yeah. So, you know, so, so, you know, I mean, look, you, just start, you tap and you talk, right? Right. And, and you're talking to the computer in the cloud. Right. Where's that? Where's the thing that you tap and you talk well, to? Well, we don't have one of those. Right, yet. exactly. Yeah. So, who, what does he invest in? I mean, that thing's smaller right. than a communicator in right. Star Trek. Of course, it doesn't talk to a starship that's orbiting the Earth, but we're working well, on that, close, too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so, but, but talk about that, the idea of where it goes. So, this guy invests in Star Trek things. Give me an example of something like Tribbles, what? Tricorders. Uh, tri well, right. Tricorders are, I mean, tricorders going to happen. You're going to have things that will sense your body, and we're going to use the phone to you know, uh, see whether if there's abnormal conditions, it's going to then gateway back to a call center where somebody's going to triage you. You know, the first level guy will get you if you have sniffles, and the doctor will get you if you have something horrible going on. Right. And it, by the way, it's going to happen in emerging markets first because those guys, uh, the operate in those countries, the operators are trusted. They're the company probably that most people in an emerging market deals with the most, right. and they're set up to do it. So you have. What you will have in many markets is semi-skilled health professionals that will go out into the real world and they'll take with them phones and relatively low-cost sensor devices and they'll do the data collection. They'll backhaul it to a call center and there'll be, you know, nurse, one level of nurse, another level of doctor, so on. And it's just going to be a very efficient way to manage health in, in these kind of places. And uh, there's already projects that are getting underway to do it. And so I think over the next few years, you'll see this happen. And then later, it's going to come back to the developed world. Because the problem in the developed world is there's just a huge legacy system. There's a huge regulatory burden. I mean, today, if you built a wireless, a body-worn sensor mm -hmm. that talks to your phone, and you do any kind of diagnosis or treatment over it, the FDA says that phone is a medical device and has to go through their process, even, though if, even if it's you know, a phone you buy off the shelf. Mm -hmm. FCC and FDA are getting together to work on fixing that issue, but it isn't fixed today. So